what's going on guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is two days out from npc clash championships i'm just walking and getting my steps in we are leaving today headed to orlando so i wanted to get all you know a lot of my steps this morning so i don't have to worry about it when i get to the hotel tonight so i've just been walking for close to about an hour um just getting my steps i've got to hit 12k today i've already checked in with coach um so 12k steps today he gave me a carb bump so he brought my protein down just a little bit and increased my carbs for today just to see how my body responds um because we hit a new low weigh-in never thought in my life i would ever be below 140 again that is insanity guys wild so um i'm gonna eat my first meal when i get back to the house i'm getting hungry it's about 9 a.m. I've got to finish packing. So I will show you guys that after I eat. And I've got to take a shower and shave everywhere. So full body. So that's gonna take a minute. <laughs> but we're gonna do that before we leave. Um, and try to get to the hotel about the time to check in. Try to avoid any traffic. So we have time to chill tonight and get settled in and everything. So. Feeling good. I got about six and a half hours of sleep last night. So I wanted to get, I tried to sleep a little bit later, but I woke up, of course. Had to pee, you know. So, but I feel good. Um, it feels nice outside this morning. So good to get outside, enjoy the nature. But anyways, I'll see you guys at the house for my first meal. All right, guys, I'm making my first meal. I've also got some asparagus cooking. So coach did say this morning to keep asparagus in. So I had a little bit left, um, but I had one more bundle, so I'm going to cook it before we leave. So I have that for today's meals. Um, but for breakfast, I've got four ounces of chicken breast. When I cooked it on the grill, I seasoned it with salt and paprika. And this is going to sound very strange. I never thought I would actually do it. But one of my the other coaches on my team, um, teammates, he put cinnamon on everything, like everything. Cinnamon is good for digestion, um, it helps aid in digestion, but he like uses an excessive amount. Um, but he puts it on chicken, on beef, like on everything, even meat and everything. I tried it yesterday or day before and it's not bad because I can't have my condiments right now. Besides mustard, I can have mustard, but I don't really want mustard for breakfast. Um, so I put cinnamon on it, so judge if you want. But it is not bad. It's, you know, it's like a sweet and savory kind of thing. But I have 33 grams of cream of wheat. I just microwave that with water. I'm going to add cinnamon to that as well. And some stevia, liquid stevia. I haven't been doing liquid stevia all week. Um, I kind of, one, forgot about it. And then two, I was like, I don't know if that's artificial, but it's not. I just wasn't thinking right. Um, but it's from natural from the stevia leaf. So add just a little bit of sweetness, not a, not a lot. You just do a little bit of a squirt. So it's because it's very strong. So you can buy this at Walmart, you know, any grocery store, but it's just liquid stevia. It's just a natural sweetener. So you can add that to things versus, um, and it's zero calorie, you know, versus adding brown sugar to your oatmeal or cream of wheat, you can do liquid stevia instead. So I'm gonna mix this up and then I have, um, 93 grams of strawberries to add because I had that carb bump and then three quarters of a tablespoon of the goat honey almond butter. So we're going to add, I have frozen strawberries, just sliced strawberries. I'm going to microwave it again after I put these in there so they melt, or not melt, they thaw out, defrost. So we're just going to add this on top. Y'all can see what I'm doing. That you don't know, but okay, that's good enough. So I'm just going to kind of push these down in the cream of wheat, microwave it again so they will defrost out. I'm going to eat this for breakfast, let my asparagus cook, and then get in the shower to shave. Alright, guys, so strawberries just kind of melt down. And it kind of creates this like, almost like a strawberry juice on top as well. So it kind of gets that into the 
cream of wheat. This is like one of my favorite meals, like off season prep, whatever it is, like cream of wheat or oatmeal with cinnamon and fruit, like strawberries, blueberries, bananas. I've done apple, I mean, all, all of it, I love it. This is my favorite meals. Um, but to do the almond butter, like I've showed y'all before, you put the whole jar on the scale, you zero out the scale, measure out how much you need. I need 12 grams. It's 10. 11. 12. Then you just put that on top and it's going to melt and create a nice puddle. Um, we are keeping water the same today, so still two gallons. Um, so I'm going to be, we're going to be having to stop multiple times on the road, um, which is going to be great, but it's okay. But I'm going to eat this meal, guys, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Packed up. I'll probably go through more of it at the hotel and maybe show day. But this is more like my show day bag. So you have this little suitcase with all your food, um, pump-up bands, rice cakes, my suit, my heels are in there. Um, salt, robe to wear over my suit and everything. Um, I have my ring light and a pillow. Ring lights for take pictures for coach just so the lighting stays consistent. I'm going to bring this pillow to sleep on because it's dark so I won't get tan on the hotel pillows. And then I have just my toiletry bag. So this is, you know, just the standard Brush. toothpaste, all that stuff, cardio shoes. So coach said today is the last day for cardio, but I'm still going to bring them because um, I may or may not, you know, walk Sunday morning when I get up just to feel good um, after show. I have a towel to lay on backstage um, so I can lay on the floor and just jeans, post-show outfits, possibly. I can't really decide what I want to wear. Um, I wanted to wear something, you know, like cute and all and then like possibly like jeans with some heels but i'm like bethany you're gonna be in heels all day long you're not gonna want to wear heels at night so think ahead um but just a pair of joggers in case i'm cold it's supposed to be really warm this weekend though so it should be fine um these are just workout outfits even though i don't really have to train or anything i'm just bringing i'm just being prepared guys you know and i wear one of them on the way home sunday just to wear hair stuff Mousse, hairspray, curling iron, um, check-in outfit to wear tomorrow to athlete check-ins, all the protein stuff with the gloves. I'll show you guys that process tonight when we get there. Makeup, Bible, and devotional, most important. Still bringing that. That's He's been with me this whole prep. He's going to be with me on show day. And Tupperware for to put the tan in, along with my hair dryer down there. All that good stuff. So... I'll show you guys my packing list. I'll insert a recording of that. Um, I do have down there cream, just multiple bags of packs of cream of wheat and Rice Krispies just for carbs for the weekend. And then over here, I have my little treats that I bought. I'll show you guys that later. But um, show day jewelry in there. Hoodie to bring while I'm in the car driving because Rex will freeze me. Um, but yeah, that is packing. All right, guys, we're on the way to about 40 minutes or so left. I'm just having a meal. So I just have five ounces of chicken breasts with some asparagus spears. Yes, it's cold. Um, we missed the rest stop, so I didn't get stopped. But I'm good. Heat it. I don't need to heat it up. It really bother me to eat it cold anymore. But we're just riding. Race is driving. He loves, he loves the interstate. Very much so. But I drove the first half or so, and then he's driving the rest. It was a half.
hotel. We got all checked in and everything went smoothly. Um, did not hit any traffic on the way here, so that was great. So we've just been chilling for a while. Um, it's amazing how riding, you know, sitting, you know, you want to get in the hotel room and, and just chill. <laughs> like, you just, it wears you out. But I'm fixing to have my next meal. This is my second to last one, so we just got five ounces of chicken with cinnamon, asparagus, and then one plain rice cake with, um, like, 12 grams of peanut butter with some cinnamon on top. I'm gonna eat this. I have about 2,500 steps to get, so I'm gonna go down there and get those after I eat this. Um, and I wanted to eat this first and then walk just to help with digestion and stuff. And then we're gonna go to town, get him something to eat, um, get some drinks and stuff for him, you know, tonight and for the morning and everything. And we're just relaxing. So we're just chilling. Um, I just uploaded the five and six days out YouTube video. So I got that posted. Um, just doing stuff on my phone as far as trying to get, you know, content situated and stuff. I want to try to get as much videos and photos this week as possible. So just trying to, you know, get that organized somehow while I have time. But we're just chilling. So we're going to eat this and I'll see you guys when we do up my tan later on tonight. We just got back from getting Rex Chick-fil-A for dinner. So I'm just chilling. We're fixing to do my tan, guys. Um, I did just do my devotional and Bible reading. So I'm kind of feeling um, a little bit anxious, if I'm being honest. I don't know, I'm just kind of, I don't know if nervous, not really nervous is the word, but I just feel like, I know there's a lot to get done, a lot, a lot to do the next couple of days. And I think it's just, we've just been sitting here chilling and it's like, I've just been, you know, just, oh, there's so much to do. So I just slightly get a little anxiety. So I just want to take time and read. Um, I always feel better after I do that. So. Got that done. I'll walk over here and show y'all all the protein stuff. I've got it set up. So we're just doing the overnight coat tonight. So this is only the only thing we do tonight. We do just a heavy coat of this. We're gonna pour it in this Tupperware and put gloves on our hands, but then we're gonna use these mitts to put it on. So like so. And Lauren said, um, like she gave me her little step-by-step -step thing that she does. And I will not do my hands or my feet tonight. I'll just do everywhere else. Um, but just put a heavy coat on tonight. And then I'll rinse it off in the morning. So I'll show you guys what we're looking like after the tan. We got one more meal to eat. So I might eat that before or after. I haven't decided. But um, it's a nice and pale at the moment. Alright, we got the first coat on. So just a little bit darker. But nothing too... Not too crazy. But we're fixing to get, get to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I know I look kind of crazy. We are one day out from show day. So just chilling in the bed, fixing to have my first meal. So I got my chicken back from Coach, so I know what I'm supposed to eat today. But we've got... Just four ounces of chicken breast with cinnamon, one packet of cream of wheat with cinnamon, one tablespoon of honey almond butter, and then a banana. So we're getting some carbs. So we checked in this morning. Um, my weight was down another pound. So 138.8. Um, he bumped my carbs up and my fat and brought my protein down some for today. And then I'm supposed to rest. So I'm not supposed to be on my feet a whole lot today. So no step goal or anything. Um, so just trying to relax, not stress. Um, he did take out the asparagus today, so no asparagus, just because, just try not to slow digestion at all. Hopefully I'll be able to you know, digest well today. But I'm fixing to eat this, just chilling in the room. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Rotate hip, pipe. Yeah, we have to, yeah, we should practice. The finishing touches. Mm -hmm. Face the curtain. Leg slightly wider. Good. Yeah, right I don't there. think it's much wider. She needed yeah. to rotate that right foot out. The right her foot toe out. is. So she fixed it. Mm -hmm. Look down. It, right. was, it was like that. Yep. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. Yep. Okay. This is cool. why I. Face the front. 
That's really good. I like that approach. Practice your smile. Good. Um, fix that right foot a little bit. I think it needs to go back. It needs to go back, yeah. But if it feels uncomfortable, it's because it probably is. Probably is, yeah. Okay. Probably looks that way. Yeah. Well, it doesn't really look, it just, your your front leg looks different, right? Like your glute looks different. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're trying to stand up and not fall over kind of thing. Like it's like jarred in mm -hmm. place to hold you in place. If it feels like that, your foot's probably like out of position. You're the, um, the right foot. foot. Yeah. Thank you. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Marriage at Sage. That's perfect. No, you look phenomenal right now. Um, okay. let's uh, let's do a walk actually mm -hmm. in. So okay. practice your walking. You go so angle to me, but just pretend okay. like you're walking in the stage. Gotcha. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this show they're going to take you from the right side of the stage and you're going to enter into the left. Usually, okay. most of the time, not yeah. all the time, but most of the time. Yeah, that's how it was last year. Yeah, this is a bigger show, so mm -hmm. um, they might actually have some people entering from the left side at some point, but they'll, they'll tell you it's super smooth. Okay. Okay. Good. Good smile. Very good. You're, this foot's a step out too far. Good. Rotate hip. Good. Right there. Hold. Go through your routine. It's out too far again. Mm -hmm. Is it way? Um, one other thing I do want to practice on your transitions when you're transitioning to the back, when you're actually looking at the judges, because you give them one little look, which is good. That's what you should do. Mm -hmm. Give them a smile, one last smile before you're going to the back. So like when you're in your, um, it's basically like when you're transitioning and I don't know where your hands are or anything like that, right. but like when you're look, when you're like this, looking yeah. down, give a smile one last time and then go into the back. Okay. Um, so it's one the one last look before you get before you go to the, turn away from the judges. Right. So they remember your face, right? It also looks a lot more natural too. Mm -hmm. Everything else, your walk, your hand movement, everything like that, I I really like actually. Like, okay. the, like you look like a pro. Um, that one little tweak is the only tweak I'm making in the routine mm -hmm. is just a smile. Wow. Um, when you're going to the back, like that one last little like flip, and like I've seen like the really good girls that I see do it is like. They look back at the judges, they like smile or wink or, yeah. you know, they like the little flirty thing. Yeah. It they just, actually don't want you to touch your legs and your yeah. butt at all. Sandy posted a public video about I this and a lot of the pros reposted it. Legs or butt. Okay. I just make sure. No, I just want my face. You're saying flirty things. That's a flirty thing is like oh. when, you're, yeah. when you're turning and you like touch your glutes yeah, sure, yeah. and then set. Like they don't want that at all. Mm -hmm. I did see that. Just so you know. Okay. Yeah. For any of your wellness girls especially, they are like, mm-mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. One more time. Um, remember, you have a natural tendency of stepping your back foot out a little bit too far. Just don't step it out too far. It should feel more natural to you. I'm when, you when you're in the stance. Yeah, yeah. in the front pose. Yeah, okay. that's the only time that you're stepping yeah. out. The back pose is fine. That's one thing. I went to a posing seminar like, earlier in the year, mm -hmm. and it's like one girl was like, she kept telling me to put it out. Put it out. Like, to Some a, women... like... Some women look better with the foot out further, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. If you pose your foot in a little bit closer, one, your stance is a little bit more comfortable for you and you can round your glute off a little bit more yeah. because the way you can actually position. So yeah. yes, some bikini athletes are better with the foot out further. Some look right. a little bit closer. Everyone's a little different. Wellness is pretty darn close. Like they keep it close to themselves. Yeah. So that's a major like difference. Squat, it, literally, yes. Yeah. Okay.
perfect, no changes, that was it. Okay. So, like, I mean, you picked up really quickly. It was just very subtle differences. Yeah. Um, she grabbed the foot, which was great. Your mm -hmm. foot was perfect both times you just did it. Your stance both times you just said it was perfect. So you awesome. actually were about to overstep when you came back into it and you fixed it. Uh -huh. And I was yeah. like, perfect. Mm -hmm. So, like, I just kept my mouth shut. Yeah, I'm going to um, practice more this evening as we go just to make sure I've got no. those changes. When you look excellent, um, so if we're talking about, like, I'm just going to say national stage-wise, like from a national stage perspective, we have three to maybe maximum five pounds of probably pull off. Okay. Um, and then we fill you into the show. Okay? okay. So right now I'm still filling you a little bit because there is a little bit of room to fill. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's about where we are right now. Okay. I mean, but like, here's the thing is like structurally, like you're phenomenal, like mm -hmm. your abs, the way your abs sit and your rib mm -hmm. cage and everything like that is, it's very uncommon that you get that. No. Like that's very like even Carolyn. It, it, it's really really uncommon that you have like pretty abs with ribs when you lift up. Most women when you lift, 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 their, lift their ribs up, you get like a bunch of rib cage yeah. and it looks like they're blocky and, and you have like no that. abs. Yeah. And you want like it tapering all the way mm -hmm. up into basically no ribs at all into your body. Mm -hmm. and that's it. So it's a silhouette and you actually have that. Okay. And then from a glute shape perspective, you have really good glute shape as well. Mm -hmm. um, that front pose, that, that tweak that we yeah. made, made a massive difference. Okay. Um, the lifting up of the torso made a big difference as well. But other than that, I mean like, okay. you have all the right things. So awesome. uh, for this show, let's have a good time. Mm -hmm. The next show, we're gonna keep peeling down a little bit, but this show is gonna be smooth sailing at yeah. this point. It's gonna be another day in the life. Okay. And good. let's have a good time with that. Yeah. See where you line up. You, you made it. Yeah. Like you look, you look awesome right now. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. So yeah, even your shoulder caps are actually um a little bit more capped than I thought they were. Like when you hit your pose, mm -hmm. your shoulders are relatively capped actually. So okay. awesome. Um, How yeah. old are you again? Twenty six. She's yeah. got a little bit more yeah. clip on, yeah. for sure. Oh, absolutely. Like, she's got time on her side, that is a thing. Yeah. So, also, she's natural. I was about to say, yeah. well, I mean, you can kind of tell in her look that she's natural, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Stay. What's up, guys? Just chilling in the car, fixing to have my second meal. Um, we're at Bass Pro. Rex is inside, you know, living his best life. Um, we had an in-person check-in with Coach earlier. It made me feel so good. I tried to get Rex to get some footage of it. Um, so I may or may not, I'll see what I can use to put in here, but it made me feel really good. Like hearing his feedback in person, we made a few posing tweaks, just a couple of little things he wants me to do a little bit differently. So I'm gonna practice that this evening. Um, when I'm fixing to eat my second meal, I've just got four ounces of chicken breast with a hundred grams of rice and then two, two apple cinnamon rice cakes with some almond butter. So I'm gonna eat this while Rex is shopping. Um, it's almost one o'clock. I had to check in with Coach at two, um, just remotely like from my hotel room, and then we're gonna do another in-person check-in this afternoon. Um, but just chilling, feet up. He said we look really good. He said um, my structure and stuff is phenomenal for bikini. My core and stuff looks really good. The posing tweaks we made to my back pose actually makes my tie-ins pop out more, which is awesome. Um, that you want that glute ham tie in that definition um, in the back pose so that is great so we're gonna keep just chilling um, enjoy the carbs um, I've got to paint my toenails in a little while and then I'm gonna put just stick on nails on um, to do that and then we'll do we have two more coats of tan to do this evening as well so I just want to keep you guys updated um, just chilling, relaxing, but that was the whole point of getting here early was so I didn't have to rush and be stressed and cortisol be high. So we're just chilling. Um, we're in Bass Pro. We may go to Academy. I don't know. Um, but he wants me to have my feet up just resting, so I don't really need to be walking around a whole lot shopping. So that's why I'm in the car fixing to eat. So I'll talk to you guys in a little while. We are second coat of tan in, so we're starting to look kind of crispy. Kind of dark a little bit. We're fixing to head to the host hotel. We're gonna do another in-person check-in with coach at five. And then we have athlete check-ins at six. So I'll get my number and everything. So we're fixing to head that way. Um, just been chilling in the room since eating that meal in the car. Um, had another meal, just relaxing. Nothing, nothing crazy. Last day, just trying to chill 
keep stress levels down, but I'll see you guys at the hotel. Do you have um? Make sure it looks better right now. So that's good. Um, do you have wine with you by any chance? Do you like wine? Mm. No. Not necessarily, but. I mean, I've been drinking. Do you drink alcohol ever? Yeah. What alcohol do you like? Um. When she says yeah, like once or twice a year. But I mean. I'm, I'm talking about like a friends. shot worth of stuff. Okay. So, yeah. like, it, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I can do it. Well, don't bother me. What do you? What type of alcohol do you like? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Um. Probably vodka. Probably. Vodka. Yeah. You always like, go with the Jack and vodka. Coke. Oh, Jack and Coke, yeah, Jack, Ford, Rome. Okay, so you can choose your liquor. Mm -hmm. And as long as the <laughs> liquid is zero calorie with it, just okay. limit down the extra that you're adding to it. Mm -hmm. And when you do that before, how's your sleep been? It's been fine. I mean, besides, I get up every night to pee one, at least one time. But besides that, I'm pretty good as far as sleep goes. <clears throat> How many hours have you been getting a night? Like seven, eight hours? Seven, yeah. Does alcohol ever interrupt your sleep pattern? No. Kind of a long amount? Mm -hmm. Okay. No. So I, I want to do it to actually relax you a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Yeah. And then two, I want the natural diuretic properties from it just to tighten you down a little bit more. Yeah. Now the good thing is you fill out from food really well right now. You're not retaining like extra subcutaneous water. Okay. I want to see how you wake up tomorrow from a little bit of alcohol and just pulling a little bit of water. Yeah. Because what's going to happen, because we've reduced down water. We were heavy on water, now we're heavier on water, but mm -hmm. not heavy, as heavy as you've yeah. been. So what's happening is your body's going to continue to excrete out mm -hmm. what it thinks it's going to get. Yeah. So we're basically putting it into like the electrolytes in the position that we want it. And also it helps some people sleep, yeah. like a little shot. Yeah. Because it's not going to raise your temperature or throw off your sleep pattern or anything mm -hmm. like that. So, or wait, do you have Benadryl? Benadryl? I have Benadryl. We'll do Benadryl instead. Scratch the alcohol okay. and I'm going to make you go again. Okay. Oh, do you want the alcohol or do you want no, Benadryl? No, Benadryl's fine. Benadryl okay. works. Okay, we're going to do Benadryl tonight. It's a natural diuretic yeah. as well. No okay. one use it for one. Um, and I'm going to see when you wake up in the morning, basically when we wake up with less water, what happens? I'm going to see you before bed tonight. And then I'm gonna see you upon wake up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then we'll give me a pretty good track record of do you look better with more water or better with less water? Mm -hmm. So this is a good reasoning for me also is because when we go to the next show, do you need more water, do you need mm -hmm. less water? So it's a good time to get that read now, especially since this is like our first show. Yeah. And then we can see into the second show. Yeah. You're tan by the way, it's looking better, you're still gonna be darker. Yeah. Um, which you haven't done top coats or anything yeah. yet, but um, I'm gonna do a but your tan, yeah, it's super fluid right now, so mm -hmm. it looks good. Okay. So good job good. at doing that. Good. Um, okay. No, yeah, you look good. I need to do my feet tonight. Okay. You're improving. Let's go through poses one more time. Perfect. No, looks good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can tighten that, tighten it down. Like, there's only one area that I'm going for right now to improve look because everything else is improving. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if I can tighten down your glute hamstring tightens mm -hmm. for the back side because we still have a little bit of body mm -hmm. fat there. That's the last place that's gonna go for us. Yeah. Um, which is fine. It is what it is. Right. Um, with fat comes water, so we're gonna play the game of pull, just pulling water flatten your glutes too much to where it makes the glute hamstring tines look worse or does it look better and the thing is it's super easy fix all that i say is all right we're drinking another gallon and a half of water 
and it filled right back out. Yeah. So. We're back from athlete check-ins so I'm just going to show you guys what I got in my goodie bag so whenever you do a show they always give you like a little goodie bag with things in it um, and I got my number and everything so we are number 460 tomorrow I wonder if that's any indication of how many competitors there are which is kind of terrifying um, but the bags you always get five bajillion flyers of upcoming shows so in case you know you can't look at the schedule yourself they give you tons of little um, pamphlets and flyers i got two tank tops so the clash series one and then this is another company or like promoter i, I believe but i got two tank tops i got two full-size supplements so this is iso amino mango flavor bcaa's and then restore bcaa's and glutamine strawberry hibiscus so i got two full size containers so i got plenty of aminos to last me for a while um then we got two goodies so for after show so lotus cookie cookie butter biscoff butter with white chocolate chips so this is good eats and cheats and then we have by get fueled have a protein waffle so just a little sample of that. And this is like a scrub thing for your blender bottle. So like a wash thing, how to clean that out. But that's what we got in the goodie bag tonight. So we just went to check-ins, got this, went back by Bass Pro because Rex forgot something. So went back there. Um, I have one more meal to eat. I'm fixing a check-in with Coach one last time. And then I have to do one more coat of tan. Um, so we're looking kind of dark, but not quite dark enough. So, I'm going to do one more coat of tan, and then I'm going to put my nails on. So, I have my two packs of nails over here that I showed y'all in a previous video. So, I'm just going to stick those on. I'm going to do that after I do my tan, just to kind of get everything, um, make sure I can use the gloves and everything well. So, this is the whole situation when it comes to the bed. So, most people will bring, um, you know, like full-on sheets for their bed. And I was going to do that. I didn't have any like spare sheets at home besides ones that are white. So I didn't want to obviously bring those. Um, but the tan can rub off on the sheets and obviously you can be charged if you, you know, won't come out of the sheets. Um, but I'm gonna wear my full length, you know, black um, outfit, put those socks on. I have just that towel and pillow and everything laid out. And our room hasn't been the coldest. So I really haven't even used the covers last night. So I'll probably be okay. But I'll be covered with my clothes as well. So we're going to do that. I did want to show you guys this other thing that I have not showed you. So this is the glamorous life of a competitor. Bikini competitor specifically. So if you are a female. Yes, there's a fan. It's obnoxious. If you are a female, when you go to the bathroom, you know, you, you don't always shoot straight. You know, it just doesn't always happen. So you have to get creative. There's actually, they make things for this. But it's like a peacup. When you go to use the bathroom, when you have this tan, you don't want any kind of drippage, any kind of anything to mess up the tan. So you can make shift your own or buy one, obviously. So I make shift in my own. Um, so I just took one of the cups here in the hotel room. You cut yourself a little hole in the bottom of it. And you can put toilet paper inside of it. And you hold it there when you pee. And it keeps it obviously contained, you know, and the paper towel keeps it from like splashing and splattering back up on you. So anyway, so that's what I've been doing, you know, since yesterday and I'm drinking a gallon and a half of water. So I've been, you know, having some good practice at it. So anyways, but I want to share that with y'all. So it's an obnoxious thing when it comes to, or not obnoxious, it's a glamorous thing when it comes to bodybuilding. Um, but we're gonna do one more coat of tan. I'm gonna mix the competition coat with the super dark. Again, that's what I did this last time. So we're gonna do another coat of that. And then we will do the instant top coat tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna do that, check in with coach, eat a meal, 
relax. He wanted me to take a Benadryl tonight. So just, he asked me about alcohol and I told him, I was like, yeah, I'll drink, you know, but I don't really have a specific, if I ever do drink, I drink sweet sugary stuff with all the carbs in it. I'm not really a straight liquor, wine. He asked me about wine. I'm not really a wine drinker. So we're just going, he want, he's like, scratch that. We're gonna take a Benadryl. Cause he, want, he wanted me to do it to relax me. And it has a diuretic effect. Um, alcohol does, but also Benadryl does as well. So he's like, scratch that, take a Benadryl. So we're gonna do that. They gave me one <laughs> to take tonight just to relax and try to sleep really well. Um, so we look good in the morning. But anyways, I'm gonna finish getting this stuff done and I'll show you guys my last meal and that's probably gonna close this out for one day out. Fixing to have my last meal, guys. So we just have some magnesium and vitamin C, natural diuretics to help everything move through sl sl bleh, smoothly. Um, and if there's any kind of water, it'll help kind of try to pull that off of me slightly. Um, that's a real basic version of that, but anyways. But we've just got about four and a half ounces of chicken breast, cinnamon, two apple cinnamon rice cakes with one and a half tablespoons of the peanut butter with some more cinnamon. So I'm going to eat this. I already checked in with Coach. He said we're continue to improving, so he wanted me to up my magnesium tonight, but he's happy. Um, I'm going to eat this, do my wash my face, get this makeup off, do my final coat of tan, put my nails on, knock out. Take, I'm going to drill, um, relax. I've got to finish getting a few things, make sure my show day bag's all set. I'll go through that with y'all tomorrow in the show day vlog. So we're gonna go ahead and close this out. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for following this journey. One day out, class championship. Please like the video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.